Microsoft will unbundle its chat and video conference service Teams from its office suite to avoid fines from the regulator. Now, this comes after the EU launched an investigation saying that bundling the Teams app with its productivity software could be an abuse of the tech giant's dominant position. Yahoo Finance reporter Dan Howley here to tell us more. So, Dan, break this down for us. What does this decision do? Yeah, basically, Microsoft is, uh, as you said, trying to avoid uh, an antitrust action by the European Commission. Uh, by doing this, they're pulling teams out of the Microsoft 365 productivity suite. Uh, essentially, when they were previously selling it, Teams was bundled with that software uh, and you couldn't uninstall it. So that resulted in Slack. Uh, which is now owned by Salesforce, to go ahead and lodge a complaint with the EU saying this is unfair, it's uh, it's anti-competitive. Uh, Microsoft is essentially you know, blocking us out and ensuring that people use their team software. Uh, and so now uh, after that complaint and with you know, kind of the further evolution of that uh, investigation, Microsoft is saying, okay, okay, we're, we'll pull back, we'll take teams off the table. You can still get it, uh, if you want, you can purchase it separately. But as far as uh, 365 goes, uh, we're gonna, going to sell a version of uh, the software without Teams for about uh, two euro less. Uh, so that's going to be the way that Microsoft hopes that it avoids any kind of antitrust action in the EU. And it's worth pointing out that the EU has been far and away uh, the leader when it comes to antitrust actions against big tech compared to the US. Now, you know, there's often a discussion of uh, anti-American bias uh, as far as the tech companies go or tech company bias as far as uh, the EU goes. Uh, but this is uh, clearly something that Microsoft is aware of. Uh, it also comes as they uh, recently won uh, the ability to go ahead and purchase Activision Blizzard in the EU. Now, that deal is still pending. Uh, potential actions by the UK and the US with the FTC uh, and the Competition and Markets Authority. But uh, as far as this goes, it's essentially Microsoft kind of saying, okay, we don't want any trouble. Please don't hurt us. Uh, we'll we'll mm -hmm. back back off. We'll, we'll put down the cannoli. That's all, you know. <laughs> so Dan, with that in mind then, for these other, these other messaging services, as you mentioned, Slack, they're owned by Salesforce. Of course, you have Zoom and some other companies in this space. What could this potentially mean for them? Is it just going to be limited to Europe? Or could there be any spillover perhaps to the US? Well, so far, this is just uh, in, in the EU and, and Switzerland. It doesn't uh, impact, for instance, the UK or the US. And I think Microsoft is going to keep it that way. Uh, you know, if none of those uh, competition authorities in those areas have a problem, then why would they want to change uh, a practice that ensures that they lock in consumers? And it's all uh, uh, business uh, consumers. Uh, and it's it's all about that, right? Keeping people in the ecosystem. Look, the company's been using uh, uh, 365, it's using Teams, it's not going to uh, go over to Slack uh, at the drop of a hat. Um, so it's going to uh, ensure that the, the customers return year over year uh, and, you know, pay those, those big sums. Um, I think, obviously, if there was an issue raised in the US or, or, or the UK or other regions, um, then they would probably go ahead and do this kind of move to, to kind of say, look, we don't want to fall back to where we were, where we were you know, bundling Internet Explorer in the, the late 1990s, uh, early 2000s. We don't want to, to have that over our heads. Uh, obviously, that was very destructive for Microsoft and its ability to move forward. Because of that, it's you know they missed the the smartphone generation, they missed the social media generation. Now they're they're right where they want to be. They they're on the cloud train, they're on the AI train, they're they're with all the current trends and doing incredibly well. Uh, so they're taking a more cautious approach, it seems to me, uh, to ensure that they don't fall into that trap of you know now we have to litigate this for years and years and we lose focus on what's the more important thing, which is the AI and the cloud. Certainly makes sense keeping that eye on the prize there for Microsoft. A big thank you there to our very own Dan Howley.